hey you guys welcome back to another scary look for my youtube um today we're gonna be using my metro whites my paints my body paint and you all know i had to literally take out my all my halloween brushes so i can start getting started with my beautiful crazy looks so now we have different lighting uh different everything so um and then i'm so sorry about the previous ones uh, for some reason it started getting like a little noise the little noise that it was in the background I don't know what it was and then I started figuring out it was the lighting for the different plug and everything like that so finally we got that fixed we got a different background as you can see you know I had to go all out because it's almost about to start with the Halloween looks so let's get started Today I'm gonna be pulling up my babies this palette right here as you can see the reflection of the light is like better way better so i'm happy i got to able to fix that so i'm just gonna get started i'm just gonna use my water bottle to just spray it and let's see guys let's see let's let's uh take a big roller coaster to see how this look is gonna come out so i'm excited okay so i'm gonna be use, using my morphine brush s3 and it looks like this and the paint that i'm gonna dip it i'm gonna dip it of course you all know to the white so And then I'm pulling my Metron Clown White. This I got this one at Hobby Lobby, so you guys can get those. So I'm just gonna make sure I just cover my brows really, really good. And after you kind of just dab, just make sure you're like you're acting um after you're dabbing because if you see the texture i don't know you can see but it feels a little it looks like a little patchy you can just start going uh side to side with the like if you're painting motion see the difference from when you swipe to just dabbing it you get more coverage i'm gonna use my Dragon. This is on board Year of the Dragon. I use this one. It was given to by my boyfriend. And I use my NYX HD finishing powder. I'm gonna use this one with the brush. And uh, let me check. Hold on. I'm gonna use the one from BH Cosmetics number two, and it's a flat top. As you can see, it's already white because <laughs> I was already using Just it. Get a good amount. And then just kind of tap. like if you're baking your face but with white powder if you don't have anything with setting powder and you don't want to really use your your um your pouting stuff you can actually use a uh, baby powder that one works amazing it actually holds the makeup even better so if you don't have that you can go to your little babies and get some powder and this is why you don't wear white i mean black but I mean, we're gonna dust it off anyways. You can't really see on the camera. Let me try to lower the light. Look, it's a little bit patchy. It's it's fine, but um, <coughs> cause with all the drawings, it's gonna kind of cover it. But um, I do recommend a second coat and very slightly start uh, just tapping so you can get more. Or you can go old school like I do, like the last time, and use this makeup. This this one would actually do the job so good. Like there's no, um, it would it would come out so good. So you can also use the, use that. This one just to kind of uh, clean. Oh, I like the lighting. Wow, you can actually see it. Like a little bit blurry, but you can actually see it. That's awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna use this brush, the one that I was using earlier. And I'm going to dip it on the clown white and just tie, kind of start dabbing to get the, you see how it's actually covering even more. The cream is going to do the job. So you can get those little parts that they show a little bit patchy. So now that we got that done, we're going to get our little specialties. Okay, we're going to use this brush right here. And I'm going to dip it into the uh, red one from... I got a little bit more close so you guys can hear me. So the one that I'm going to dip on is going to be this palette right here, the Metron. 
um, and the the it's gonna be like this this is a name is paradise makeup aq eight color palette and i believe it's gonna be the basic so it has all these beautiful colors and i'm gonna dip it with this this one right here the red one that we're just gonna kind of it's okay if it starts creasing because i mean we're uh, going in with another color so okay let's give it a set for this one And then for my lips, I'm going to kind of use this lipstick from Wet n Wild in Spotlight Red. It looks like this. And the number is 911D. <laughs> okay, and this is where I get super creative. Um, kind of. So we're going to go with... Uh, this one right here and I'm gonna use a Morphe 12 color Picasso palette and I'm gonna dip it into that beautiful red right there right here and then with a detailed brush like this I'm gonna dip it into that red one and we're gonna start drawing some lines. I like give it kind of like fire sort of. So it's starting to look crazy already. And then right here this is you can add some on your lips. But I mean it's already red as it is, so same thing here. So it won't be too like spaced out of the line. You just have fun with it. You see how it creates the little tiny, tiny lines? Um, yeah, just have fun with it. Don't overdo it either. Use this brush right here, which is BH Cosmetics number four. And I'm gonna dip it into that red one. pack in case you guys want to go get some um i got this ones off from i believe michael's and i got it when they were like almost 50 percent off so i literally got them for like six dollars and it comes with all this right here so see all the jewels the diamonds so i got it like oh years 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 ago <sighs> looks cool i'm gonna get a little bit of this and then i'm just gonna kind of my eyelash glue so you can like super hold it, hoping it doesn't fall right, but it shouldn't. In case if it doesn't hold, you can always get and always dip it with this one, the liquid latex, and it should be able to hold. Ugh, it smells bad. Okay, so I'm gonna go back with this one. I'm just gonna kind of draw some lines. All I'm doing is tap it and stretching it down, so you can kind of color all around the diamond. And then in case if the lines were not stretched enough, you that is where you can actually stretch them a little bit longer. This is my final look. I literally can see anything. I just see everything blurry. So the look that I got, it was off from Prentice. Um, I was looking at this look for quite some time already. And I came out with this one. It's not absolutely the exact same thing because she has um kind of like a foundation on the bottom a little bit more wider and i just decided well let me just put some white paint see how this comes out so this is the look that i it was i was inspired by it so i don't know if i nailed it or not but i did my best you know um the only thing i did add it was just a diamond different can't really see anything it's just blurry and then with the light it's just like <sighs> it's super blurry thank you guys for watching and i'll be editing this look so hope you guys like it subscribe to my youtube channel if you're not so and give it a thumbs up and show some love guys thank you see you till next time